I'm Jake Bruton with Arrow Building, and today on The Build Show, we're gonna talk about how we prevent our tile from cracking. So what we're talking about today is a specific product. Very, very rarely do we narrow in on one product. Last week, I did narrow in on Schluter's Curdy membrane for our waterproofing. And one of the things that I said last week in the video is that we started using that product probably somewhere in the range of 14 to 15 years ago. We've loved it since, it's worked great. About 10 years ago, we discovered another product from them, and that product is their Ditra underlayment mat. Uh, it's an uncoupling membrane. For us, it eliminates the same kind of products that we were using in place of the Curdy membrane. It eliminates our cement backer. Uh, it gives us the ability to have an uncoupled and protected floor. What does uncoupling mean? Let's start there. So if you owned a ancient Roman estate built a thousand years ago and you had beautiful tile floors in that estate, uh, much like I'm sure most of you can picture the, the actual floors in your own estate, uh, those floors would not be connected to the structure of the house. Most likely your walls would come down and sit on a foundation and the floors inside were laid on a bed of sand. And that bed of sand wasn't then sitting on concrete. It was ground and then aggregate and then sand and then tile with mortar on it. And that gives the ability that the exterior structure of the house can move without affecting the tile. So we're kind of asking the same thing out of an uncoupling membrane. Uh, we're, we're uncoupling from the house. We're disconnecting our tile from the house. Now, that makes most people panic and they have this moment of thought where they go, oh, you're gonna make my tile a floating floor install like an engineered floor? Not at all, the thing is that the, the bond is still there, it is still connected. It's just not in the way that you traditionally would have anchored tile. So 10 years ago when we were using this product and we made the swap, it was a bed of mortar and then backer board and then a bed of mortar and tile meaning that whatever happened in the substrate was connected by mortar, backer board, mortar, all the way through to our tile. So if I was building a slab on grade home, for example, and I tiled directly on my concrete, even if I used an uncoupling mortar, as advertised in the industry that I'm not sure if we can believe or not, uh, the mortar still made a hard, rigid connection between the concrete and the tile. And when that concrete cracked, it made new cracks in my tile. Uh, it's unavoidable. It's something that we completely can't get around. Concrete does crack. It's something that happens. It's the problem with building with concrete. It does crack. If we're building on top of wood, like we are here, we're on the second floor. We have a 7 8 uh, inch Advantech subfloor underneath of us because our trusses are uh, 19 inches on center. The uh, the uncoupling membrane that in the past wouldn't have even existed for us. It would have been mortar, cement board, mortar, and then tile. That causes problems if the building shifts, if the subfloor isn't strong enough, if we have rigidity issues where there is movement in any way, shape, or form, be them structural or just environmental. Uh, so we want whatever's underneath our tile to affect our tile as little as possible. And that therein lies the uh, the, the Dietra uncoupling membrane. It is a fleece back uh, membrane and the two parts you can see, I can, I can force them apart if I had to, I can tear that. Uh, but the idea is that fleece liner gets adhered with mortar and then my tile gets adhered with mortar on the top. And the two have just enough movement built into their shape and these little squares, they're hard to see on camera, they're actually a dovetail shape. So the mortar pushes in and grabs that. And then by extension, the underneath side, the mortar can push in and grab. And it gives just enough flexibility to make it so that our substrate generally doesn't affect our tile. The other really cool thing about this that even goes a step further for us is that we're able to install the Ditra and then take some of their curdy membrane banding, band all our seams, turn this product in a 90 degree in the corner and now we've waterproofed our bathroom floor. So literally the water would have to run out of our shower or off of our toilet or out of a sink 
and make its way all the way over to the doorway of the room before we have an issue. Up until that point, it could just be vacuumed up. It's on top of waterproof tile. We don't have any concerns. That has been a game changer for us because we're pushing our HVAC out of the floor so that we don't have that hole. We can caulk down our toilets so that we don't have that issue uh, where we can have a zero entry shower that we have no concern that if it overruns, as long as the client's paying attention, we're not gonna have issues. Now, the floor I'm standing on is actually not Dietra, it's their heat product. Uh, also, I should add, they make a taller version of the Dietra, Dietra XL, I believe, that has different applications. Some of them could just be you're trying to meet a different floor height, uh, but I do think that with different uh, tiles or different products that you're gonna adhere to them that you might have a different use. Uh, they also make a Dietra heat. So this one is a slightly different shape. It has these little nodules. It still is a two-part product, so it still works as that uncoupling membrane, but this pattern allows me to snap a heated wire into it. Uh, think of it as the world's safest toaster wire. Uh, I'm sure that Schluter probably wouldn't want me to call it that because that seems unsafe for some reason. The product's not unsafe. Uh, it is a uh, resistance wire that generates heat, meaning now I have an uncoupling membrane that I can click my heat wire into, wire to the thermostat, thin set, put the tile down, wait the appropriate amount of curing time for the mortar, and then turn the system on and I have a heated floor that only cost me one extra step and that was looping the wire in. So this system also replaced the idea that I have to put down a thermostatic wire and then cover it with the product and then still have to put down a backer board or something. Or uh, if I were gonna do hydronic heat, I would either have to have access to the underneath side or on top and have an extra pour day maybe. So it's, it's all about this family of products that makes my life easier. They're lighter weight, they're easier to carry. This, this product uh, weighs less than a pancake in this, this size here. Uh, we really have a family of products that we can rely on. We have a manufacturer that's taking care of everything from top of my waterproofing all the way through my heated floors now. They're also making my thin set, so I have one warranty, one manufacturer to go to if I ever do have an issue. And one of the things that I forgot to mention last week when I was having my love fest for their Curdy membrane, this is a training intensity company. They offer workshops. My whole crew has been to the workshops. I've been three times, I think, because why not get a refresher? Why not make sure I remember? Our certified tile installer has been to their workshops and their advanced workshops even. Uh, anytime you have a manufacturer that's willing to invest in training, they know the value of someone who's skilled installing their materials. If I can have hands-on experience with the manufacturer and I can say, this is how I install this product, and I know this because I learned this two weeks ago from their actual installation guy, I'm gonna be better at installing that product than I would be something that I just watched a video online or I just read their instruction manual twice. And I think that they understand that that goes a long way towards limiting any issues that they may have with the product because everybody's been trained that's using the product. Uh, another really cool thing about them, this really is a love fest for them today. Another really cool thing about them, it's the same price no matter where you go. They have standardized pricing. So it is what it is. Get it at the place that you normally buy your tile. You don't have to shop around to price value their products. It's the same price. So. Look into the uncoupling membrane. Look into the benefit of using such a lightweight product that does a good job of detaching and making it so that anything that's happening in your substrate generally doesn't transfer into your tile. Add their banding and now you have a waterproof floor that you just upgraded for a client at almost no cost. And if you're looking at doing heated floors, look into their uh, Dietra Heat. Uh, and the one question that I get from every client when we start talking about the Dietra heat in the floor, or two, sorry, one, is the, is the thermostat programmable? Yes, it is. You don't need that running all day while you're at work. Let it come on a little bit in the morning and a little bit in the evening, right when you're going to take your evening shower or when you're in here this, in the morning getting ready in the morning. Just warm it up a little bit. Don't try to heat the house with it. And number two, do we put that in the shower? I could put it in the shower floor. I get a warranty with it being in the shower floor, but as soon as I turn that hot water on, that floor is gonna heat up. Don't waste your money putting it in there. 
use it somewhere else, put it in the closet. In this instance, we went ahead and ran it all the way into the closet because the tile already goes in there. The client will be warm to the to the tootsies while they look for uh, look for their clothes in the morning. So, check out this line of products. Uh, I'm I'm happy to share this kind of stuff with you. I'm happy to publish a video every week. I'm really excited that Steve Basic, Wade Paquin, Brent Hull, and the illustrious Matt Reisinger are all publishing content six days a week on the Build Show Network. I'm really happy to be involved. I'm really happy I get to share. Don't forget to check me out at Jake Bruton on Instagram. Until next time, thanks for watching The Build Show.